What's up guys, it's Michael from MyAppleTech.com. Today I have a speed comparison between the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5S. iPhone 5 is the black one, iPhone 5S is the white one. You can tell by the home button, or by me pointing, or by the colors. But yeah, iPhone 5 right here, iPhone 5S over here. We're just going to do a few little speed comparisons today. First one is I'm just going to open some apps up and see which one loads faster. Then we're going to run some Geekbench, and then I'll actually see which phone actually powers on faster. These phones both do not have anything running. They're both running iOS 7.0.2. They both have the exact same things on them, except for the iPhone 5S has a few more things on it because it's a higher gigabyte capacity, so I can put a few more things on it. But if the iPhone 5S is truly faster, it should still outperform the iPhone 5. So enough talking, let's go ahead and just open up a really fun game I've been playing lately, which is Giant Boulder of Death. So we'll go ahead and touch them and release. And the iPhone 5S should win every time. Right now it is, obviously. Actually, you forgot to turn my sound down, so now it's going to be really noisy. Go ahead and tap to skip that. And you can close out of the ad. And you can see it is already loaded up on the iPhone 5S. I just had to turn my volume down real quick, but you can see the iPhone 5S obviously did load that much faster uh, than the iPhone 5. All right, so let's go ahead and open up another app. Let's actually open up the App Store here, right down here. This is going to have to load something over Wi-Fi, so you know, it won't interfere too much. But the iPhone 5S should still load faster compared to the iPhone 5. And that was about the same, but you can see the iPhone 5S was barely faster than the iPhone 5. Now let's go ahead and Geekbench these things and see which one will outperform the other. So I'm just going to hit Run Processor Benchmark and then we'll go ahead and wait. And this again is a 64-bit processor. So uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so the iPhone 5S just got done. Took it about 30 seconds, maybe a little bit more than that, 30, 35 seconds. And you can see the scores down there. Go ahead and scroll down here, and you can see it also has, since it has a 64-bit uh, chip in it, it has 64-bit uh, things to it. I don't know what to call these, really. But you can see, obviously, the iPhone 5S scored quite high, and I believe that is actually higher than a lot of the new Android phones that came out. Uh, so that's kind of cool, too. Go ahead and wait until the iPhone 5 is done. Alright, so the iPhone 5 just got done. You can see it's about twice as fast, or the iPhone 5S is about twice as fast as the iPhone 5. Not exactly, but it is about twice as fast, at least based on the scores. And again, if we scroll down here, 32 and the 64 bit. So you can see that it does uh, have, it does make a difference having the 64 bit uh, processor in it. Alright, I'm just going to power these down now and we're going to start it up and see which one boots up faster. Alright, so I'm actually going to grab these because it'll be a little bit easier for me to turn them on at the same time. And I'll go ahead and boot them up. Wait till the Apple logo comes on. And I'll go ahead and set them down and let them do their thing. And I'm guessing the iPhone 5S is going to win. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's going to win. All right, so the iPhone 5S is booted up and ready to use. And it looks like, oh, password required after restarting. I did not know that was a thing. And then the iPhone 5S, or the iPhone 5 just started booting up. Or just started, just got done from booting up. So the iPhone 5S did obviously boot up faster. Uh, so that's, you know, not something to be expected. So not too big of a difference here based on speed. I mean, everything, when opening apps and games and stuff like that, you can see the iPhone 5S was much faster. But when we opened up the App Store, you could see that it was about the same time. But when we did something like Geekbench, you can see the scores were definitely much higher for the iPhone 5S. So the iPhone 5S is obviously a faster phone. Is it much faster? It depends kind of what you're doing on it. If you're gonna be opening the App Store a bunch of times, it's not gonna be that big a deal. You're gonna be opening games a lot or other apps. It's gonna, you'll probably notice a difference. It's just gonna open and run smoother. So that was just a quick comparison between the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5S, guys. So I'll see you guys in my next video. I have a few more videos on this iPhone 5S. I'm also going to have a case review of uh, Apple's case and the iPhone 5 slash 5S dock coming up soon. So stay tuned for those videos. If you're not subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe. Leave me a like and a comment down below. Really love reading those comments. I've been getting them more, more, more often lately, which is awesome. So I'll see you guys in the next video, and thanks for watching.